Good evening. The First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, has announced an immediate pay rise for most NHS staff. In her speech to the SNP conference in Aberdeen, she said a 3% increase would make Scottish nurses, paramedics and porters better off than those in England. From the conference, here's our political correspondent, Glenn Campbell. Throughout her speech, Nicola Sturgeon attacked the Conservatives, seeking to portray the UK government as chaotic and uncaring. Hostile to migrants and neglecting the NHS, shame on them. In Scotland, the NHS is under Holyrood control and she announced a pay rise for health workers. All staff working under NHS Agenda for Change and earning up to £80,000 will get an immediate 3% pay rise and it will be in their pay packets next month. There was also extra cash for student support and the promise of around 750 new or improved nursery schools by 2021. Nicola Sturgeon then turned on the Tories over Brexit. This UK government is a shambles. It is reckless, it is selfish, and the sooner it holds no sway over Scotland, the better for all of us. She said voters were looking for a hopeful alternative to Brexit. Our task is to persuade them that this better future is an independent one. There was no word on the timing of any future independence referendum. A decision on that is deferred until at least the autumn, by which time the outcome of the Brexit negotiations should be a bit clearer. So thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank you very, very much. Back in the hall, support for Clara Ponsati, the former Catalan minister fighting extradition to Spain for her part in the Catalonian independence vote. Glenn Campbell reporting Scotland, Aberdeen. The brother of a Scot held in an Indian jail has released a letter about the death threats he's endured. He says 31-year-old Jaktar Singh Johal has been forced to sign confessions under torture. Some viewers may find parts of Morag Kinnebra's report distressing. Held without charge since November, Jagtar Singh Johal, a Scottish Sikh activist arrested in the Punjab for conspiracy to murder Hindu leaders and being involved in the murder of a Christian priest. Back home in Dumbarton, his brother released a letter kept secret till now. This is the first time my actual family are going to hear of what's happened because I've hid it from them as well, because the details of actually what he endured are actually, they bring tears to your eyes and they actually make you shiver as in the 21st century that the Indian authorities can actually do that to a British national. In the letter, Jagtar describes torture, forced confessions and death threats. He writes he was stripped and beaten and given electric shocks. He was told he would be shot dead. He claims police made him confess, telling him what to say and made him sign blank documents. He is OK, but he's putting that brave face on us from what I can tell. It's because he's still mentally being tortured being detained for the last seven months is torture in itself. Campaigners argue the Indian authorities must investigate, insisting evidence obtained by torture can't be used in court. The Indian High Commission has said the case is following due process. Morag Kinnebera reporting Scotland. A 12-year-old boy has been taken to hospital after being hit by a tour bus in Glasgow. Police were called to the incident near Central Station at about 1 o'clock this afternoon. He was taken by ambulance to hospital. His injuries are not life-threatening. A new £3 million art gallery opens to the public in Kirkcubey today. Four floors of exhibition space have been created in the former town hall in the hope of attracting major touring shows. An important collection of Kirkcubey paintings will be fully displayed for the first time. An eight-year-old boy from Caithness has become the youngest person ever to scale the Old Man of Hoy sea stack off the Orkney coast. Edward Mills set himself the challenge to raise money for the charity Climbers Against Cancer. His mum, Becky, has terminal breast cancer. Now here's Christopher with the weather. Hello Christopher. Thank you very much indeed. Hello to you at home. It's been fairly lively for some of us today weather-wise with uh, heavy thundery downpours, some hail, some lightning, uh, but not everyone's had them. We still have a Met Office yellow be aware warning in force for the next few hours because they will continue for the next wee while before slowly fading away. 
So as we go through the course of this evening and then tonight, those showers fade, it becomes dry, but fairly cloudy, perhaps a little bit of drizzle at times. So to tomorrow, and whilst high pressure is nearby, it's not really strong enough to give us an entirely dry day, so actually quite similar to today. A cloudy start, a bit murky at times, the odd spot of drizzle, and then the cloud will tend to thin and break, the low cloud will burn back, and we'll start to see a few showers sparking off. Across the UK as a whole, we'll see that uh, chance of showers further south towards the Pennines, perhaps a few in towards Wales and some drizzly rain towards uh, central southern England, but elsewhere some sunshine temperatures into the low 20s. And we'll have afternoon highs up to around 21 degrees, but where those showers occur, it will be feeling cooler and certainly around some eastern coast a cooler feel as well. Not everyone will see the showers, but if you do catch one, it will be heavy. And once again, the chance of the odd rumble of thunder in the mix too. Looking ahead towards Monday, well, we have a breeze coming in from the north, a fairly cloudy day for us here in Scotland. A few showers around at times, temperatures up to 19 degrees. Some of those showers could be quite sharp. And then as we approach the middle of next week, a change in proceedings. We start to see weather arriving off the Atlantic. That means strengthening winds and outbreaks of rain. That's the forecast for now. Thanks, Christopher. And that's all from us. We'll be back at quarter to seven tomorrow evening. From everyone here, enjoy the rest of your Saturday night. Goodbye from everyone in the team.